Hi, my name is Mara, and today I'm going to be walking you through a hip strength and mobility workout. You're going to need your band and your gray ball from your fit kit. Towel is optional if you would like it. We're going to start standing at the back of your mat. Just a couple of plank walkouts, so both feet about hip distance apart, big reach all the way up towards the ceiling, round through the spine. Take both hands to your mat and then walk yourself forward into a plank. Once you're there, pike your hips up, walk your hands all the way back, standing up, round the spine, roll all the way up, big reach overhead, round through the spine, hands to the mat, walking forward. Find your plank, hips nice and low, pike up, and walk yourself all the way back, standing all the way up, one more time, big reach all the way overhead, round through the spine, and then walk yourself all the way out into your plank. This time you're going to hold it. Go ahead and find that stability through your shoulders. Tucking your tailbone under. You'll lift your right leg up for your single leg pull downs. Little pulse up and down. Lower your foot. Switch. Pulse, pulse. Lower down. And switch. Pulse, pulse. Really try to squeeze through the backs of your legs. Engaging into your glutes. One more each side. Going at your own pace with the breath. Last time to the left. Lower both feet, pike the hips up, and stretch. Maybe pedaling out the feet a couple times. Breathing into the shoulders. Good, and then go ahead and return to your plank. And then we're gonna go right into pikes. So just lifting your hips all the way up, and lead them back out, piking up. Breathing into your abs and lengthen out. Two more times, lifting all the way up. And lengthen out, good, all the way up. And then lengthen back out. Pike your hips up one more time. Slowly walk your hands all the way back. And then roll all the way back up. Nice and slow till you get to the top. We're gonna grab our band next. And we're gonna get into some standing marches. So you'll want your band right over the arches of your feet, making sure that it's right over tops, both feet here. We're going to get into standing marches. So you want your feet about hip width apart. If your band's newer, it's going to be a little bit tougher to get your knee up. But you're just going to lift that right knee to about hip height, slowly lower down, and switch. Finding your balance to start. Good. Use your abs to help you here. Lower down and switch. Good, and just using those first few to kind of find that weight shift between each leg. Find your balance. Good, next time that right knee is up, you're gonna hold. And then little pulses up and down into that band. Good, breathing into the abs here. Breathe into that right hip flexor. We've got four, three, two, and one. Lower down, and then switch to the left. Find that hover, little pulse, up and down. Good, breathing through it, trying not to fall over. It's okay if you do. We have four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. We're gonna get right into our banded squats next. So that band is gonna go all the way up over both knees, making sure it's nice and flat. And then once you have your band all set, you're gonna separate both of your legs pretty wide. If you tend to kind of keep your knees in when you squat, turn your legs out a little bit just to protect the knees from coming in too much. Trying your best to hold that neutral spine. You're just gonna squat down. Little press into that band, standing up, and squat down. Good, keeping that pressure into both legs here as best you can. We've got four more. Good, last three. And two. On this next one, you'll stay in your squat and start to pulse the hips up and down. Keep that pressure out into your band here. We've got four, three, two. Stay in your squat. Lift your right heel up 
and then switch. Continuing to pulse down into that squat, switching that heel lift every time. Try to stay low with your hips. Good, we just have four, three, two. On this next one, stay low in your squat. Little presses out into that band. Last little bit with this series here. Stay low in that squat, weight back into your heels. Good, we've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand all the way up. And then you can have a seat here. We're gonna get rid of our band and we're gonna trade it out for your ball. So once you have your band all the way off, you can go ahead and find your gray ball. It's gonna end up between your inner thighs. And we're gonna go into an all fours position here. Starting with some cat cows, making sure your knees are right underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders, rounding the spine. Nice big stretch and arching through the back, stretching through the abs, around the spine, use your abs to lift up. Two more like this. Good, last one. From here, we're gonna tuck our toes, finding that neutral spine. And then go ahead and keep that ball between your inner thighs. Press into your hands here. And then we're just gonna go into knee hovers. So you'll exhale, scoop through the abs and lift your knees. Inhale, tap the knees back down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Use that ball to help wake up the abs and inner thighs. Staying strong through the shoulders, we've got three. And two. On this next one, lift up and hold. Little pulses squeezing that ball. Good, we just have six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your knees down. And then go ahead and take your ball. And we're gonna go right back into that all fours position. Ball is gonna go underneath that left knee to start. Right knee is down on your mat. Pretty much right underneath that hip. All right, once your ball is nice and snug underneath your knee, just lift your left leg up to hover over your mat. We're gonna go into fire hydrant, so just finding that external rotation. And then lowering back down. And then rotate out. So keeping that little bit of a squeeze on the ball the whole way through. While you're doing this, Keep your abs nice and strong, so your spine's flat. We've got two more. On this next one, adding little circles. So you'll lift your knee wide, circle it back into parallel and down to meet that right leg. Circle out and behind you and lower down. Really trying to open up through that left hip, keeping that squeeze on the ball to wake up the hamstrings and glutes. One more circle this way. And then go ahead and reverse it, opening your knee wide, lowering it all the way down and around, lifting it up behind you, big circle. Two more. And last one. Next time that knee is behind you, holds there. Flex your foot just to help deepen that hamstring connection. Start to squeeze the ball and then pulse your knee up and down. Keeping a really strong squeeze with that left knee. Breathe into that left hamstring. Good, keep squeezing that ball. Low back is nice and neutral as best you can. We've got four, three, two, last one. Lower all the way down. You can take the ball out. Feel free to stretch in a little child's pose if you need. Just sitting your hips back and dropping the chest down. Whenever you're ready to switch, take that ball underneath that right knee. Level out the hips and shoulders, and then go ahead and start that fire hydrant on this side, lifting that right knee wide, and then lower down. You can always adjust where that ball is if it feels unstable or like it's gonna fall out from behind your knee. 
three more fire hydrants like that, and then we'll start those circles again on this next one. Knee goes wide, circle it back behind you, finding that external rotation, back down through parallel, and then nice and wide to circle behind you. We've got two more in that direction. And then reverse that, sweeping your legs straight behind you, going wide before you lower down. Really find that strong rotation out from your hip. Two more this way. On this next one, you'll reach your legs straight back behind you, keeping that deep bend in your knee, flex your foot, and then start to pulse the ball and lift your knee. A little pulse and lift, and lift. Good, keep that squeeze on the ball. Try to pulse it every time you lift your knee up. Just four more like that. Last three, two, and one. Lowering all the way down. You'll take your ball out, and then we'll set up for our sideline series. So next, you're gonna take the ball with you and lay down on your right side. Lots of options here. Wherever you are, that ball will go underneath the right side. And then you can either prop yourself up with that right forearm. If this gets into your neck at any point, you can rest your head in that bottom hand. Once you're all set here, make sure your hips and shoulders feel nice and stacked. And then extend that left leg nice and long. We're just going to start to pulse that leg up and down, warming up into that outer glute, outer thigh, warming up into those hip stabilizers, making sure that your lower abs are nice and strong to support you here. We just have four, three, two. On this next one, we're going to find an internal rotation. Tap your foot forward. Externally rotate as you tap your heel behind you. Toes tap forward, and then heel taps behind you. While you do this, really try to keep your hips stacked and stable as best you can. And really try to rotate from your hips so you feel that big challenge in that left side. One more each way. And then we're going to circle that leg. So keep it at about hip height. Tiny circles up and around. You can keep your foot flexed, you can keep it pointed. Whatever helps you keep that left leg really active. We just have three, two, last one, then reverse that circle. Keep your leg nice and long. Abs are still engaged to support you. We just have four, three, two, last one. Lower all the way down. Get rid of your ball and then you're gonna lay on your back. Taking that band, that should be within reach. We're gonna take it over both of our knees, all the way up by your thighs. Making sure it's nice and flat, so you feel comfortable here. Once that band is set, plant your feet all the way down. Arms are long down by your sides. Legs are just hip distance apart. Little bit of pressure in that band. And then from here, start to bridge your hips all the way up and then tap down. Keeping a strong flat spine here. So that low back is staying in neutral as you tap your hips all the way up and down. Arms can press into your mat here for support. And keeping that constant pressure into your band. We've got two more like this. And then on that next one, lift up and hold. Start to press out and in with that band. Squeezing into the glutes, keeping the hamstrings nice and active, making sure you're pressing really evenly into both sides here. Keeping the hips lifted. We have four, three, two. Last one. Keep your hips up here. We're going to get into a little single leg series. You can adjust your feet if you need to. You'll extend that left leg long and then start to press the left leg only into that band. Really try to stabilize into your right side. Keeping your knees as level as you can. Abs strong. 
we just have four. Three, two. On this next one, lower your left foot. Extend that right leg long. Little presses out into the band. Really squeezing into that right side. Left side is supporting you here, so you might feel that left glute fire up just as much as the right. We've got four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down, resting your hips. You can hug the knees in towards the chest and then take the band off. I'm gonna rock up to seated so you guys can see me do the other side for that side lying series with the ball. But for you, you can just flip right over and go into the other side. So left side of the waist over that ball, left forearm down, and then hip stacked. Nice and stable with the shoulders, adjust as much as you need. Once you're stable here, extend that right leg long, start to pulse. Again, make sure that both of your hips feel really stable here. Abs are engaged, rib cage is really hugged in. Ball is mainly there for support, so try not to sink into it too much. Left shoulder is nice and active, neck is long. Again, if you need to, you can always support your head and your bottom hand if this starts to bother the neck or shoulder. We've got four more pulses on this side. Good, last two. On this next one, keep your leg hovering. We're gonna find that internal rotation. Tap your foot forward. External rotation, tap your heel behind you. Tap your toes forward. And then heel behind you. Like a little rainbow here. Still keeping your hips stacked. Try not to let that right hip rotate with you. One more each way. All the way forward and all the way behind you. Bring your leg back to parallel, little circles up and around. Last little series on this side. We've got four, three, two, and then reverse that circle. Almost out of this, we have four, three, two. On this next one, go ahead and rest. You can take that ball out, off to the side, and then lay on your back again, little figure four stretch. So you can cross that right ankle over your left knee. If this is enough, you can just press that right knee nice and wide. If you want a little more, you can hug that left knee in towards your chest. Feel free to rock side to side here. Maybe pull your knee in a little closer to deepen that stretch. Breathing into that right hip. And then slowly coming out of that, switching out your legs to do the other side. So this time your left ankle is crossed over that right knee, either pushing your knee wide, or you can hug that right knee all the way in towards your chest. Again, to deepen that stretch, you can either pull your knee closer in towards you, you can rock side to side to loosen up a little bit, whatever feels good on that side. And then whenever you're ready to come out of that, you can go ahead and uncross your legs. We're gonna sit all the way up, so you can hug your knees into your chest. Little rock up to seated. And then we're gonna grab our band one more time. It's gonna go over the arches of the feet again. And then you'll flip over into your high plank. Once you're in this plank, go ahead and make sure that both feet are hip distance apart. You should start with a little bit of pressure out into that band. Strong shoulders here. You'll draw that right knee in towards your chest. Tension on that band as you replace your right foot back and then draw your left knee in. Stepping back, exhale, right knee goes in. And then step back, left knee to the chest and back. One more each side like that. From here, we're gonna draw that right knee in and hold little pulses into that right side. Deepening that connection into your band, into your hip flexors. We've got four, three, two. Last one, step back. Left foot pulls forward, keep your foot flexed, little pulses. And we've got four, three, two, and one. Step back, and then both knees can rest. You can get rid of that band, it should come out pretty easy here. 
Sitting back into your child's pose. Knees are wide, feet can stay together. Walking your hands forward to stretch. Relaxing your head towards the mat, breathing into the low back and the hips. While you're here stretching, you can take both hands all the way over to that right side of your mat. Breathing into that left side of your waist. And then whenever you're ready, switching over to that left side. Breathing into the right side of your waist here. And then go ahead and come back to center. We're gonna press up to all fours and step your right foot forward. We're gonna get into a little lunge stretch here. You can always use that towel underneath your knee if you want a little bit of cushion. Just lunging into that right leg getting heavy into your hips. Breathe into that stretch. Option to take that right arm and twist all the way up to that right side. And then whenever you're ready, take your hand back down. And we're gonna shift our hips back. Straightening that right leg just as far as you need until you feel a stretch in that hamstring. Hands can come forward. Bend that knee as much as you need. I always like to rock forward and back here. Usually feels good if your hamstrings, your calves tend to be really tight. You can also point and flex your foot a couple of times here. And then we're gonna go into a little pigeon stretch. Lunge forward first and then walk your right foot over to the opposite side of the mat. You'll gently drop your knee down. Sink into your hips. They don't have to be all the way down to your mat. Just stretch wherever you feel com comfortable here. Breathing into that right side. And just trying not to force this stretch too much. Maybe adding a little movement or coming in and out of that stretch if you need. Whenever you're ready, taking both hands to your mat. Use them to press back into all fours. And then you'll switch to that lunge with the left foot forward, right knee down. Just breathing into that right hip flexor. And then whenever you're ready, taking that left arm all the way up towards the ceiling to stretch in that rotation. Taking your hand back down and then shift your hips back to release that hamstring. One side might feel a little tighter than the other, that's okay. Try not to force the stretch too much, see what variations feel good, maybe pointing and flexing your foot, maybe rocking forward and back. And then shifting your weight forward again for that pigeon stretch, walking your left foot over towards the right side of your mat. Gently drop your knee down. If your hips stay up here, that's totally fine. If you want to deepen that stretch, you can sink them a little lower. Maybe elbows or forehead goes down. So deepen that stretch. Breathing into that left hip. And then whenever you're ready, taking both hands to the front of your mat, pressing yourself back, and have a seat. You guys are all done. You made it through your workout. Thank you for watching. We have plenty of other FitKit videos on our YouTube, and thanks again.